Hi, I'm Diane Allen, the host of This Is Me. Last year, I started my fitness journey, and as a result, I lost over 30 pounds. And like most journeys in life, the big question is, how do I get started? Today, I want to share with you how I got started. I want to mention two things before I go any further. First of all, always check with your primary health care provider before starting any fitness or dietary programs. And secondly, I'm not a nutritionist or a fitness trainer. And that being said, the first and the most important step of my fitness journey was to set a goal and commit to it. If you're really serious about improving your health and getting into shape, this must be your mindset. Set a goal and commit to it. Next, I put together a plan to reach my goal. It is said those who fail to plan, plan to fail. So, put together a sensible plan that will help you achieve your goal. If you don't know how, seek out help. So I met with a fitness consultant who went over my goals and helped me put together a fitness regimen tailored just for my needs. And after enrolling into the fitness program, I started going to the gym, which was good physically and socially. My fitness instructors, Jen and Javier, they were fantastic. But COVID struck, and as you know, the rest is history. So I started using our home gym and my hubby, a former trainer who became my fitness instructor. My husband asked me to commit to his training program for 90 days. And after my first 90 days, I did see a difference, which really did encourage me to stick with the plan. Adding weights along with aerobics really worked for me while keeping my caloric intake in mind. You know, as we age, we do lose muscle. So adding weights to my regiment was important. My next step was healthy eating. Looking at what I was putting into my body was a real eye opener. So I started cutting down on unhealthy fats, carbs, and sugars. One of the tools that I use is the Samsung Health app which helped me to log in my daily calories, activities, and nutritional needs. It let me know if I'm low or high on certain nutritional needs and other health issues. There are a wide selection of these fitness apps for Android phone phones and for iPhones to choose from. And having a balanced diet consisting of fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins, and whole grains, for example, is a must. Drinking the required amount of water for your body each day is very important as well. It helps us to stay hydrated and it flushes out toxins. <clears throat> Drinking water not only keeps you hydrated but it also helps you to lose weight by helping you to feel fuller along with other benefits. Giving yourself time to gradually lose weight is healthier than dropping a lot of weight suddenly. I also learned that um, looking to be fit and to maintain a healthy weight is not about making short-term diet changes, but it is about a lifestyle that includes healthy eating, also regular physical activity and balancing the number of calories you consume with the number of calories your body is using. I also learned that I'm going to have some setbacks, but not, but just get back on track and not to let setbacks be a reason to abandon my plan. You can be a healthier you this year. Let's do this together. Set a goal and commit to it. Then take the next step and make a plan to achieve your goal and follow it. Just do it. Start today. And we can encourage each other as we take this journey together. You can contact me on Facebook, 
Instagram at seven at this is me 783 or email me at da.thisisme at gmail.com. Let me know how you're doing on your fitness journey. Next, on my 2021 fitness journey, I'll be showing you some quick, easy, and healthy breakfast ideas. So until next time, I'm Diane Allen, and this is me.